We're in the lovely Torino in Italy thanks to Puma Motorsport to find out exactly how an F1 race suit is made. Not only this, but I am going to be starting the process of getting my very own WTF1 custom race suit. Excitement levels are at an all-time high. Let's go find out how it's done. Let's start at the very beginning then with Maurizio, the head of Motorsport Hi, Matt. Racewear. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I am very excited to see so many WTF1 designs in front of me. We're going to make our very own race suit, yeah. which I am so oh, excited yeah. yes. for. And there's also a Formula One race suit. You make, you make these. Yeah, we, we do some. We do <laughs> for Formula One. This is the newest one. And we do for DTM, NASCAR, IndyCar, Formula E. A lot of the major motorsports there, yeah, yeah, you, you pretty of. much cover. Yeah. Um, the Formula One one in, is, is very light, you've told me, and my goodness yeah. me, that is unbelievably light. And you yeah. mentioned about off camera, this was the Velcro. There's a there's a special little technique <laughs> yes. you've done to save every single possible gram. Yes, yes. We, for example, we do perforation on the Velcro to gain to grab some tens of grams. <laughs> Because if you were to have those holes filled in, that would exactly. be two grams, is that right? Maybe. It's zero point something, but for the <laughs> Formula One engineer, it counts a lot. Yeah. And also the, the, the zipper puller that was in metal, and this one is in fabric, and we gain two grams, so as it's light a lot as yes. possible. I, I won't be as uh, precise with my uh, race suit. I'll have the... Okay, the, we can do <laughs> something. I don't think that'll make me any better of a racing driver, to be okay. honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we move on to the electronic process where all the bits of data get put into a computer and it all looks very confusing. Uh, that's about right, isn't it? Not that confusing, <laughs> but okay. This is the very beginning from the measurement chart of, this, of the driver. Just casually, Sebastian Vettel's measurements. My chance, yes. Uh, <laughs> so this is his body measurement and uh, we have to translate this in our software. We do this technical chart for the supplier that have to understand which kind of material to use for every single part of the suit. So, so how, how closely do you work with the Formula One teams? Because you mentioned about the Velcro and, and taking away two yeah. grams worth of, of weight. How, how closely do you work with F1 teams in the overall design of the suit? One colleague of us, Gregor, is, is on every single race is in place. From Thursday to Sunday is at the racetrack ready available for any question, problem, issues. Any, so. any issue? Have you got an example of, of things that you'd have to do? Um, over easy a example, a fresh one. Um, Sebastian wants to change the position of the hole for the drinking tube on the balaclava. So we have to move five millimeters uh, on the right side. Just because it wasn't comfortable for him? Is yeah, it wasn't yeah. comfortable. So five millimeters makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah, for them, for those guys. Yeah, 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 definitely. So we, we don't have to question, okay, you yeah. want this, let's do it. Taking the words right out of Maurizio's mouth, let's do it and get on with the production phase, where next up is a process that creates a rather satisfying background noise. I hope you'll all agree, it's cutting. Okay, so this is the first stage after all of the calculations are made on the computer. Exactly. Now it's time for cutting. Cutting, yes. Here we are cutting one single suit. So what suit is this out of interest? Do you know I you? think it's another suit for uh, just a new garden. Okay, just a new garden. Yes, for Indy. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's, so, a, uh, he's a friend of ours, WTF1. How's it going, Joseph? This is your suit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think this is the back of the suit. And this is the, the fabric. As I told you before, it's very light. You can Almost see through it. See through, <laughs> yes. But it's fireproof and tested and homologated. It's, it's fireproof. Yes. Oh, that, is, that is crazy that that is fireproof. That's amazing. Yeah. So after being amazed by a thin piece of fireproof material, we now move on to where the race suit gets pounded over and over and over in what is quite simply mesmerizing to watch. It's embroidery. We've cut the fabric and now it's time to put on the, the big logos yes, right on, exactly. into these unbelievably cool machines. To give you an idea, this logo, Itachi logo, takes 18,000 dots. 18,000 dots? Times you, you have to so punch. Will, yes. Wow, okay. okay. We've got an example here that yeah. you were mentioning. <laughs> that Pennzoil looks quite difficult to do. Yeah, exactly, because we have different colors. So the guy that makes the embroidery file have to understand and decide which color I have to start with, the white, the yellow, the black, and it's his skills to decide, for example, to do the, the yellow and then do the red, but have to do really, really well done. Yeah. Otherwise, when you do the edge in a different color, they never match. 
Imagine, so, so you, you could get all the way through and then... Exactly, <laughs> and maybe the you'll one. see a gap and you have to throw away everything. With logos embroidered, it's now time to ditch the machines and rely on the good old human eye for what is our next process in this journey. Quality control. Okay, this next stage we've moved away from pumping machines and we've actually got yes. a... This is the cleaning process because behind the, the fabric we have to put this material which keep everything on hold during okay. the process and then we have to get rid of this. So we are cleaning on the back from this material and then also some thread which pulled up out of the embroidery, they are cleaning with the chisels. Which you can't do with a computer. This no, is, this is unfortunately, a fine, no. fine yes. detail. Yeah, yeah, because you need to have a look of, of everything. If something is wrong, they come go back to the machine. And then it, it's also a matter of quality control. Now this is towards the end of the process, isn't it? This is, yeah. uh, as you say, quality control. Um, something I noticed in this very room are a lot of old race suits yes. uh, over there. So this is Kimmy's actual race suit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2008. 2008. Because he won okay. in 2007. Yeah. So 2008, they put this special logo of Driver Formula One World Championship. Uh, how how long has this this whole business been going for? I mean, uh, since 2003. 2003. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you yourself, how far have you? I'm in seen the journey. Racewear in since 1997. Okay. Race. So how have, how have you seen it progress from 1997 and the way in which race suits were made to mm. now, when I'm assuming machines like that didn't really exist? Um, at the big improvement, talking about the embroidery, is on the software. Okay. Because before you have to do manually the instruction to the machine how to do and where to do the dots. Yeah. And then, of course, on the fabric, uh, as I told you before, uh, my shirt is the same weight of the suit of Lewis. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a big step. Yeah. Yeah. yeah big so, step. so this yeah. is almost the end of the process. What What's left to do after quality control? Go with all the stitch, all the embroidery stuff. Go to the um, stitching department okay. to assembly everything. Let's go and uh, finish this project. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what have we got here? Yeah. So now after the cutting, we have to put together all the layer of the suits. Mm -hmm. So we have the outside layer, the, the black one, and then we have this one. That is we, that the inside of the, the Lewis inside Hamilton? of the suit? This yeah, is yeah. being coated with a diver skin. Okay. And this is the intermediate felt. Yeah. Which is absolutely all together fireproof and they make a pillow of air because the air is the best insulation against heat. Okay. Okay. Science. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so they have to put layer together with this quilting box that keeps everything fixed mm. and with good amount of material and again pillows of air. Okay. And this is the outside of the fabric that we did already done embroidered it. So for every single panel of the suit, we, we have to do this uh, assembly process. Yeah. And when we have all the panels done, we go to the final process to put all together. Put it all together. Yeah. The finished thing. The finished thing, yes. And here we have the final, I feel like we've come full circle really, of a, of a, a life cycle of a race suit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so this is Lewis Hamilton's race suit. Once again, I, I have to pick it up because I'm still in absolute disbelief of how light it is. It's yeah. unbelievable. Is it? Is it quite sort of nice for you to see a finished race suit after? Yeah, we, we use effort? it too, but it's always nice to see the finished product. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I honestly cannot wait to have my own race suit. Uh, thank you so much, Maurizio, for having us here today to have a look around the factory. Uh, my own race suit will be on its way very soon. I cannot wait to try it on. Uh, it's probably not going to be as cool as this. I mean, it's Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes race suit. I'm very excited to even see this in the flesh. Again, thank you so much uh, to you and Puma Motorsport for having us here today. Next time, you will see my WTF1 spec race suit. Stay tuned.